So in the last episode, we have seen that how we can create a simple React app. But let's now understand what is JSX. So this thing, you can see you have this H1 tag, which is actually inside this React. This is actually called the JSX. You are mixing the HTML with the JavaScript. And this is actually very simple and it can be used in various ways. So let's just now create new thing. So I will first define cons for the constant and I will name it element. And I will just copy this one from here and cut it out from here, paste it here. And now instead of that HTML, I will render element. And whenever I save this file, it reflected just here welcome to bitfumes because my server is started and this means we can also do something else so now i will create another variable i will say let name is equal to bitfumes and instead of this one what i will do i will use name here save this file and you can see there is no change and now if I change this variable name it's now reflected in our DOM and this is actually the great power of using HTML inside the JavaScript okay so let's do one more thing I will say let object is equal to let's say first name is equal to Sarthak then last name is equal to Srivastava and now what I am going to do instead of rendering this element I will create again h1 tag to have a proper look and now if I want to use this object here what I will do use curly braces I will say object but when I save you can see we are getting error because we cannot use the object directly we can use object element so first name so now it's working and now if i want to use the second that means the last name obg dot l name l name save this file and now it's giving error this is because this curly braces is using to render the object elements but whenever react get this one it confused because there is a space so what we have to do we have to just close this here and close this here reload that means save this file and yes it's working properly and now if i want to give comma it will be reflect to comma and if i use hyphen it's having hyphen here so this is very cool and you can play with all these things and now let's create something complex so what we will do just delete everything from here even delete this one and if i save this nothing will going to happen yes and now what i will do i will create a function function name is cartoon and I will say return and what I'm going to return the h1 tag same every time but with new feature okay so here I will say cartoon name is whatever I pass here as a name so I will say name and then uh, I will say like this cartoon name is this and its show is again show that means I have to get one another parameter which is called show okay so I'm returning this and let's use directly that function so cartoon and if I now save yeah I'm having this cartoon name is nothing and it show is nothing because there is no place here there is no value for this so why not give default value default value is Pikachu 
and show name is you can see it's now rendered as I saved show name is Pokemon that's good and show name is Pokemon but what I want I want to change this so I will say Aladdin or simply Jasmine in Aladdin save this file and uh, yeah that has to be a string save this and now it's working cartoon name is Jasmine and its show is Aladdin something awesome something beyond the imagination because you are using a function in which you are rendering a HTML tag with some of the variable name which is having default value inside the react and so much and great thing but what if my HTML has some complex structure like if I want to use this h1 and I want to use h2 also so how will I use that let's see what will be the result so h2 that should be small if it is good so now I will say simply hello bitfims save this file and yes this error is here and this is actually what I want to show you this sim simply says that you cannot have two root elements because you can see one is h1 and second is h2 so what we can do if I want to have these two I will place both of these inside a div tag and in that way if I now save it will render this first one and second one this means the JSX can only have one root element or HTML element or simply tag whatever you want to say but it has to be one if you want multiple just wrap this inside one so that it will become a one so now this h1 and h2 called the child elements so if I do like this this will be more readable so yeah so it is very cool and you can see I saved this and there is no change because everything is working properly now suppose I want to give this h1 tag a class so I will say class is equal to some class but this is not the way react think so what I will do I will just minimize this and just inspect this and let's see what this h1 have so you can see it's good for everything but we don't have any class which we have defined class some class because JSX is closer to JavaScript not the HTML so this thing will not work if you want to define some class you have to use the camel case name and to have the class a camel case system you can say class name and now if I go you can see we have this h1 as class not the class name we are defining class name but all it doing it just attaching a class of some class so this is very cool because obviously in HTML we are using class now to have a real look of what actually the JSX will do I will go to browser and I will say here babel js.io let's go here and go to this try it out it will load this and let's open our text editor and what I will do I will just copy these things from here go and paste this here and now you can see the code we have written here is reflecting here but all it doing is like this return react create element firstly div this div okay then null then inside this div it's creating another element called h1 
this one it's having an object of class name as some class then text as cartoon name is and then the variable name which is this one and all is doing it's creating another element so all we have a one element inside there is two element and then after it's rendering cartoon and jasmine aladdin as it's here and everything is very nice but you can see it's defining the function in a different way and it's using use strict and all these things are working in the background you don't have to care about all these things what you have to care this code the react code so this is very cool and next thing is very important is that I have explained everything from this documentation so that you can go to this documentation and have a look just read about this and if you feel any problem in this course or in anywhere just message me but before going I will introduce you to this thing called react chrome extension just search for that react developer tool go there and just click on add to chrome i have already downloaded that so after downloading you just have to restart chrome and then at the right top you will get this react chrome extension and when i click here you can see it says this page is using production built react if i go here it says this page is using development built react that means we are developing and this one is production that means it's live so there is some different even if you can open facebook i will open my facebook.com slash bitfumes you can see it's having also the page using the production built react you can see facebook react used by facebook great so what this will do this will give you this little tag in your console and this tab if you go here it's connect to your react app and will have everything here so if I click on this div it says this has two child elements and we can have all the things about that elements we can read we can see what we have given what is getting by the react what is not getting by the react and everything else so this is very cool and we will use this tool in our future tutorials so till then if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me you can email me or don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram share this video with your developer friends so that everyone react on the react so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye